I am reviewing the Spiralizer Kitchen Series. Um, the other day I did a review on the Wonderesque, which is a very large unit. Today I am doing a review on a very small handheld unit. So you get this unit. It comes with a little peeler, four blades, two are in the machine, two are loose, a cleaning brush, and let's go. So I'm going to try a carrot. I'm going to do a quick peel. Make sure you can see me. Yes. I'm going to do a quick peel. Sorry, I probably should have done that ahead of time, but since they gave the peeler, I wanted to do it. So, what you can fit in there. You're going to have to cut it to size, from what I understand here. Let's see the directions. Blades. Place the vegetable straight in the middle of the cone, making sure it does not lean heavily towards any particular side. Twist the vegetable into into the cone with a consistent forward force. Use the included safety cap when the vegetable gets shorter. Ah, okay, I understand now. So we will start off. You stick that in there like that. And then let me turn my hand the other way so you're seeing. So we're doing a carrot. It's getting, it is stewing it, but it's coming up the other side. There we go. I'm gonna watch where that blade is. At. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make sure I wasn't gonna get cut. I want to shave myself a little bit. So, oops. Well, a little iffy on that one. Oh, I just got jabbed. So then when it gets too short and you get stuck a little, then you can put this on there. Your carrots are always going to be harder because they are a harder vegetable. <laughs> oh, at the bottom, look at the bottom. It's coming a little wanger. So, let's see how you pop that out. So that was pretty cool. And look, you got the chatter of a carrot with just a little tiny piece left over that you can't get in there. So that was really easy. Let's see, do we have anything else we can play with? No. We have I was wondering which one. I don't know which blade is which. This looks like this is the bigger. I don't want the smaller 
cut, so I don't even want to try that one. And that's a straight blade. What you do to change the blades is you pop up the little door. I'm a little afraid of getting cut. Because it's right there, so... I thought it was up, it's out. Either way, it is a tight fit. And I'm nervous because I don't want to get caught. And you pull the blade out. And then you just pop the new blade in. And then shut the door. Shut the door! Oh, so that's going to be, that's more of a ribboner. I'm going to go back over here because I want to eat this for dinner tonight and I was going to spiralize it. So it's kind of hard to keep a whole spirally thing going. But it is doing the trick. Um, it's a lot easier than the one I reviewed last week, but it's also, it's a little bit more, I'd say it just might be a little bit dangerous at times. <laughs> Yeah, see, now I'm trying to do this, and that is not working. And my, um, I don't want to get cut, but my thing was not gushy or anything. I think that's all I'm going to get out of this, because I'm going to end up getting cut. So, although it's very easy... It is a little bit dangerous. These are also kind of sharp. Do you see these metal grips? They're not sharp, but they're kind of sharp. I don't know how to explain that. So it is easy, but you just saw that this is a pretty firm um, zucchini, and every time it, it would not. Um, I couldn't use the end tip to push it in to get the rest. Um, so I would have to do that with my hand and then you're right here at the blade. So easy, but a little bit dangerous. So I'm not real sure about this one. Plus, if you wanted to do a sweet potato, you'd have to cut the sweet potato in fours probably or a potato, you'd have to cut it into fours. Um, so the larger, more bulkier peeler actually seems to work better than the handheld little model, which is easy at times, but much more dangerous. So I'm not real sure. I wouldn't want my son using this because if I almost got it a couple times, then, you know, my son, I just wouldn't want him to get hurt. Okay. Thank you. But it does do a good job. Just uh, a little bit dangerous.